<laughs> it doesn't look great, I've got to be honest. Oh, for... for the past few weeks, I've been working on these, our two lovely shepherd's hats. Now, these are kit builds, and we've had them for a while. They're just in standard condition. There's nothing inside, it's just walls. Basically, they just look quite pretty from the outside. So, my aim is to fit out the inside. Welcome to the channel of a bumbling Englishman who is trying to learn how to build mad cabins. This is my tiny house in an attempt to start a tourism business in the Cotswolds of the UK. And it's actually working! So subscribe and stick around because I have absolutely no idea what I am going to make. Shepherd's Huts have a genuinely really interesting background and, and it's been a proper little glamping movement in the UK for a while now. We know about them being used back to 1596 and they were basically the same shape and style of these ones. Farmers would use them to shelf from the elements. Normally it would have a stove and a little bed inside. So they suit this land, they suit this landscape, they've been here before. And I'm going to make one of these as nice as possible. I think I realised just how many shots I filmed of me painting. Oh look, more painting quickly. Yep, still painting quickly. Yep, lovely work, but just still very much just fast painting. I suppose it could be worse. We could be sat here watching paint dry. I don't think I'm going to put you through that. I'm just going to put you through watching me paint. Seemingly from every angle under the sun. Oh look, fast painting of the ceiling now. Actually, this is very similar to watching paint dry, isn't it? Ah, this is the other shepherd's hut. This is shepherd's hut number two. Sanding down some filler in the ceiling before painting, and now to assemble some kitchen cabinets. I'm gonna take a little break and I'm gonna cook my lunch using all the uh, offcuts of bits and pieces of wood and cardboard that I've got. Oh, okay, great work, Jacob. Muddy, come, come. No, God, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> Muddy, no, Muddy, come, come. Good boy. Right, let's see how good you are. Muddy, sit. Muddy, sit. Sit. Good boy. Wait. 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 I don't even think you know what a fire is yet, do you? Ah, ah, ah. Ah, 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 ah. Sit. Good boy. Wait. Right, you can see the fire. It's going to be really hot, so don't you dare. Ah, ah, ah. Come on. You can look at it from over here. You might be thinking, why on earth aren't I building a new hut from scratch? And I will. I have quite a few plans to do that. One second, I need some more wood. Stay there, Muddy. Stay. We already own these two huts, so it makes sense that we use what we've got to get this little business of mine up and running. Hopefully, it won't take an extremely long time, and the faster I do it, the faster I can then get on to building new huts. Good boy. Oh, come with me. Good boy. But while I'm waiting for the fire to get going and get hot so I can do some cooking, I might as well explain why shepherd's huts are really popular in the UK and they have been popular for like glamping holidays and cabin holidays for a while now. But they've also been a part of the landscape for a long time. I was, I was looking it up and 
The earliest known referenced shepherd's hut was back in 1596, I think, or 16th century anyway. And shepherds would use them to shelter from the elements or make lunch or just have, have, a, have a little homely space if they ever needed to stay overnight with the lambs or whatever. So they've been a part of this landscape here for a hell of a long time. Um, so it's nice that they're being reused. These obviously aren't original old shepherd's huts, they're modern takes on it, but the shape is pretty much the same. I think they're lovely, you're squirming. And hopefully I can do them justice. Hopefully I can build something really interesting and unique. What are you doing? You eating an apple? It doesn't look great, I've got to be honest. I thought, I'll film some lunch. I've seen people do it, they love it. Cooking on the open fire, people look, people think it's great. What I should have done is practiced, because this just looks like a massive blob of stuff that I probably burnt a little bit. <laughs> just built a big blob of ketchup down on my wellies. At least it's my wellies. I spent so long cooking lunch, I really need to get back to work. This build will be continuing in future videos, so keep an eye out. I might even have managed to get off all the masking tape by then. Please let me know what you think of the job so far down in the comments. Like the video please and subscribe for more of this. Thank you for watching. See you next week.